we're going to start by prepping the skin with a little bit of rubbing alcohol. Generally, a professional can book out anywhere from a 10 to 50 minute treatment time with her client. Um, whether you're using a smaller piece or a larger, uh, more dramatic piece, uh, we made sure her skin was nice and dry. We're going to use our new HD contour stencil to create this beautifully intricate piece on the skin. And with this new formulation of stencil that um, we are the only ones licensed to use it, we can mold these pieces around curvatures of the body like the shoulders, the wrists, the arms, the ankles, and still be able to maintain the integrity of the designs like lace. Of course, here we've got our peacock feather. Make sure that uh, tattoo is nice and flat against the skin. We're going to brush on our latex-free hypoallergenic body glue. This is what makes the glitter tattoos last as long as they do. And we want to get a good application of glue and go right over that stencil. No need to stay within the lines or be dainty. This is what makes it a really efficient service, uh, no matter if you're doing a small or a large piece. Of course, again, the larger pieces and the smaller pieces, you have the opportunity to customize with not only different colors, but now you can add on elements like our new Swarovski crystals to help you increase the value of that tattoo. So you can see we have a good application of glue. We want to remove the stencil from the skin, and you can see that the body glue has formed the design on her back. Toss that stencil out. It is one-time use only. Um, this certainly adds to the uh, intimacy of the treatment, um, knowing that your client is the only one using that stencil, and of course for hygienic reasons as well since it is sticky back. So we want to wait for the body glue to dry clear. I'm going to use my catcher to help fan her uh, dry, and we want it to dry to a clear tacky state. That's how you know you're ready to apply your glitter. Now we've already predetermined that we're going to use some silvers as she is our young bride. We don't want to do anything too colorful. Of course, this young bride is already thinking outside of the box and adorning herself with a glitter tattoo for her wedding day. We don't want to make it stand out too much. We're pretty much ready to go with this tattoo. The uh, tattoo has dried clear. We have a few areas of wetness. We might just let her dry for a few more seconds before we're ready to rock and roll. We'll use our catcher to help catch any falling glitter as we dunk into our glitter and start coloring away. And you can immediately see that the glitter is adhering to that body glue. We'll start from the bottom up as we are working on a vertical surface versus a horizontal surface. There is no adhesive in my brush or in my glitter. So the glitter does fall and you want to make sure to preserve your idea for your color scheme. So we're going to start from the bottom up and being that I've let my body glue dry clear as well, that allows me to easily wipe my brush off on my client's skin or on my palette and dunk right back into another color and start creating these blends of different colors, if you will. Again, you know, as we mentioned, if she'd like to go for a more rainbow effect, if she's going out to Vegas and wants something a little bit more colorful, we certainly offer a full range of colors for you to be able to really make that tattoo pop. We'll add in our last color, my favorite color. This is our pure crushed silver glitter. You can actually wear a pure element on your skin. And we're almost all done. We might, we're going to add some crystals afterwards. We'll make sure that we get all the areas covered. But she does look like a big glitter mess right now. So we're going to have to come in and clean her up. Use your larger uh, blush brush, if you will, to brush off all of the extra glitter, making sure to have it fall into your catcher and not onto her lap or onto your treatment room floors. That's how we can keep, keep it again an efficient, a professional, and a clean service as well. Because especially if you've got another client come in, you do not want to spend any time cleaning up that glitter. And she is all dry and ready to go. Once we've cleaned that up, we're going to come in and add a few other elements to make this tattoo really sparkle. So we are ready to rock and roll with some additional elements to this design. We've recently obtained the rights to utilize Swarovski elements in our uh, glitter tattoo application sets. So we're going to come in here with our smaller crystal application brush and apply some dots of glue where we want to apply our crystals. Now, of course, you would upsell the pr cost of the tattoo by adding in your crystals, so it's just an additional way to earn income. So we've applied our little dots and we'll come in here with our tweezers. 
and just gently start applying the crystals where you applied your glue dots. Come in here, add a second one. And sometimes clients perhaps only want to add one. Some, perhaps they'll add a few others to make a tattoo really sparkle like diamonds for an extremely lower cost than perhaps purchasing a new diamond necklace. She can still shine with the brilliance and the sparkle of something that you can find in the Neiman Marcus cases or on the pages of Vogue. And we're almost done. I think we put a, another one at the top, up at the eyeball. And she is all dry and ready to go with a beautiful glitter tattoo that she can rock on her wedding day. And as she jets off to her honeymoon, she can go dunk in the cool waters of Maui and still be able to showcase the beautiful artwork that she wore on the day that she took her vows.